Hello and welcome back to Galgorm Hall. This is a bit of an exciting video for me. As you'll have seen from the title of this video, uh, we are unboxing the Acura Scale Chemflow Wagons. Uh, back in the Black Friday event, Acura Scale had an eight mail shot that went out and they were offering 40% off their triple packs of Chemflows. Now I already have two pre-orders set up already with Acura Scale, one being the Deltic and the other being the Class 37. But in this box here are my chem flows. Now I haven't had any sort of direct contact with any Acura Scale models, so I'm quite excited to see what's in this box and how they look. Certainly, by all reports, they are excellent, but I thought I'd share you with you the actual opening from the very outset of this box. I've actually been sitting on this for three days. It's the first chance I've got up to the loft to do anything with this and I've been eagerly awaiting to get this open. So let me set the camera up uh, and we'll take a closer look. Right, let's get into this box. Okay, in we go. Let's move this box out of the way. We'll start with one. And this is it. Oh, I'm really impressed even just by the packaging. I mean, it's just steps above what you get from the other big manufacturers. Let me lower this camera down and we'll take a closer look. Okay, here we are. It's such a nice box, isn't it? I mean, it's only a box, but it's ridiculous. It's so nice. It's, it's just a step above. And, you know, it just gives it that little added something extra. So time to get in there and have a look. We'll come back to that in a wee minute. Oh my word. Oh my word. Don't they look amazing? Oh, I want to be very careful taking this out of here. I'm well aware of Acura Scale's attention to detail with small component parts. I certainly don't want to be damaging anything at this stage. Such a well packaged together set. Goodness me. That's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. The attention to detail. We'll maybe have a closer look at it. I'll set it up on my little diorama and we can have a little bit of a closer look at the actual wagon but just in terms of presentation you really can't fault a cura scale it's a little pack of additional detail parts to go into it as well so oh that's uh that's made my evening so it has it's been worth the wait for three days to get uh to get to this stage. With regards to these wagons, the reason why I went for them, partly, I mean, the discount, they were offering 40% discount over Black Friday. It was ridiculous not to even look at them, you know. But having seen them now, I'm very, very tempted to go back and buy a couple more packs to make up a longer rake. I would like a rake for one of my uh, logos, just to run around the layout. In reading about the background history of these chem flows, they seem to tick so many boxes for so many of us modelers. Uh, built between 1961 and 65, there was 285, I think, were built uh, for tr uh, carrying cement, primarily between was it Cliff in Kent, 
right up to Glasgow just outside of Glasgow and they used the East Coast Main Line uh, to transport the cement goods um, from Kent to Glasgow so it passes by so many different locations that so many of us probably model they came on line basically sort of early to mid 1960s and they were still running right up till the mid to late 1980s um, so it's a wide spectrum of uh, eras that it just it, it's almost a no-brainer, you know, with regards to rolling stock. If you're trying to run something at a fairly prototypical, in a fairly, a fairly prototypical way, and the fact that they do so many individually numbered wagons, uh, to me, it just, you know, like I, I keep going over it again. It's it, it's just sort of a bit of a no-brainer uh, in terms of logos that would have hauled them. 25s, 26s, 27s, 31s, 33s, 37s, 45s, 47s and even steam logos were seen to be pulling them black 5s, jubilees, 9fs and the a4s as well. Every one of us is bound to have one of those logos in our uh, collection. I know I have three or four of those and it will give me so many op options um, to put these wagons in behind. But let's set it up on the diorama and we'll, t or we'll take a closer look. And there we have it in all its glory. It's brilliant, isn't it? In terms of the finish, they're all finished in this sort of aluminium um, colouring. Maybe in time I'd prepare be prepared to take a paintbrush to it and give it a little bit of a weathering effect. But for the time being I'm going to leave them as they stand. Um, they come with tension lock couplings but those can be easily changed over for the likes of KDs because the end pocket is in underneath the, um, the underframe so it's not an issue if you wanted to change them over to other coupling formats. We've got sprung buffers. The attention to detail with regards to the smaller finer details pipe work brake pads or brake brake shoes and underneath on the underframe look at all can you even see the fine pipe work that's running in underneath that stuff that we won't ever see but it's there even the the metal work along the edge of the underframe with the tiny holes all pierced in. Pipe work, raised pipe work along the edges here. There's moulded details on the sides and then the top on the gangway. Looks like an etched piece that's been added to it too. And again, individually added additions to the, uh, what the door hatches. At either end, further details even down to the small decals transfers that's just brilliant it really is stunning absolutely stunning so Acura Scale brought out 13 packs some pre-tops some post-tops and each individ individual wagon has an individual number applied to it so you can make up a full rake of these wagons should you wish so what do I think of these wagons I think you could probably tell I'm over the moon with them absolutely over the moon with them and I think come the new year I'll maybe go back on and order up a couple more I have a rake of six here that I'm going to run on the layout here for you shortly just to give them a little bit of a run out but I think I need more even another three or six would just give a, a better look to that train but look I could go on about these all evening I really could I couldn't be happier I actually ordered these as I said on the Black Friday event and I had intended for them to be put away for Christmas I just couldn't wait that long and um, I'm glad that I opened them now so 
let's put them under the, the layout and we'll give uh, we'll get a, a suitable logo to haul them around and uh, in the meantime I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed opening them and I'll chat again to you soon. Bye for now.